Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Pool Corner. I'm Tim Golden, and PoolFits is excited to introduce PoolFitter, the swimming pool industry's first drone measuring system for precise, accurate, and easy pool measurement. Today we're on site in West Plains, Missouri, demonstrating exactly how to use the Pool Fitter measurement system to measure for a replacement mesh or solid safety cover to match exactly the existing deck anchors. That's right, exactly the existing deck anchors. With Pool Fitter, there's no longer a need to pack up your old, wet, dirty, and torn safety cover and send it to the manufacturer so they can unfold it, drag it around their warehouse or parking lot, and manually measure the cover. That's old school and filled with the opportunity for errors, which is why most manufacturers will only commit to an 80% accuracy rate in terms of matching the existing deck anchors with a replacement safety cover. Using the Pool Fitter drone measuring system, we'll match them all. Our customer here in West Plains was in a difficult situation. They can't return their old and damaged cover because when it was removed from the pool, it was discarded and not available to send to a manufacturer to be measured for a retrofit cover. So they called Pool Fits and asked if we could help. And with Pool Fitter, we absolutely can. Today, our video will take us through the five simple steps to use the Pool Fitter measurement system to measure any pool for a replacement cover. Before we get started, it's important for you to know how you can order your fully refundable Pool Fitter measurement kit which you'll need to accurately measure your pool using your drone. It's super easy. Go to our website and place your order. When you receive your pool fitter kit, you'll receive a pre-labeled and pre-paid packaging to return the pool fitter kit to pool fits. When you return the pool fitter kit complete with all its components, pool fitter will issue a full refund. That's right, measuring your pool with pool fitter costs you nothing and will save you a lot of time and frustration. Why? because PoolFits provides you with everything you need except the drone. At PoolFits, we continue to innovate ways to improve the pool measurement process. PoolFitter's AI technology ensures that when you place your order with us, you can proceed with confidence. So let's get to work. All safe work begins with a quick huddle and review of the job site. It is the drone operator's responsibility to understand all national, state, provincial, and local flight regulations and to follow this pre-flight checklist. Ensure the flight area is outside controlled airspace. Ensure the drone operator is qualified and licensed if required. The weather of the day is acceptable. The operator has reviewed the pool fitter user guide and knows what photos are required. The operator has evaluated the flight area for hazards such as tree branches, fences, phone, and power lines. Pool Fitter requires a minimal drone and camera specification, including hovering capability, 4K or better camera, ability to adjust the camera settings, gimbal with 90 degree setting and toggle for vertical picture taking. These capabilities are incorporated, for example, into the Mini 2 by DJI, which is a very affordable unit. To learn more about the Mini 2, visit the DJI.com website. Finding a qualified drone operator. If you are not a qualified drone operator, do not attempt to fly a drone. Qualified drone operators can be found readily on the web at very reasonable prices. Local real estate companies are often a great source for drone operators with the proper equipment. The drone operator should read the pool fitter user guide to get fully acquainted with the pool fitter measuring process before getting started. A copy of the pool fitter user guide is shipped with the pool fitter measurement kit and is available in printable PDF format on the pool fits website. During our observation of this job site, we've identified an obstacle in the form of tree branches that may obstruct the field of view as shown here. We'll discuss how we will compensate for this and similar obstructions later in the video. We wanted to call this issue to your attention now as we will reference it later. We are here in Missouri today to measure a pool that previously had a safety cover installed and the original cover has been discarded. Today, we'll be using the Pool Fitter Mesh and Solid Safety Cover Measuring Kit to measure for a replacement cover to match exactly the existing anchors for the original cover. 
The Pool Fitter Measuring Kit has everything you need to successfully complete your pool fitter measuring task. Let's take a minute to inventory and organize the components of the Pool Fitter Kit. Find a flat surface near the pool, but not in the way, to organize and inventory the Pool Fitter components, as follows. All of the Pool Fitter components except the large orange numbered discs and the user guide and measuring sheet come neatly packaged in a reusable cloth pouch. Included in the Pool Fitter Kit are four large orange measurement discs numbered one through four, one 50-foot fiberglass measuring tape, 50 existing deck anchor markers, four brass anchors with brass inserts, one hex anchor tool, four black anchor collars, four black hex keys, one piece of chalk, one pool fitter measurement sheet, one pool fitter user guide, and one postage paid return packaging envelope. Next, we'll do a little light assembly to set up the pool fitter components to ready them for use. Remove the brass inserts from all four of the brass anchors provided. Using the four brass inserts and the black anchor collars, assemble the large orange measurement discs, inserting the brass insert through the black anchor collar and then through the large orange disc number one. Repeat this process for large orange discs number two, three, and four. With the discs assembled and the components organized, we are ready to set up to complete the pool fitter measurement sheet. The final step in preparing to complete the pool fitter measurement form is to use the four large orange discs to create a rectangle shape adjacent to the perimeter of the pool using four existing anchors. We use the term rectangle loosely here because the rectangle does not have to have any equal sides, nor do the sides have to be exactly parallel to each other. Here we show several examples using four different pool shapes. The rectangle created isn't required to be any particular size, but should encompass the majority of the pool. As we identify each of the four anchors to be used, we remove the existing anchor insert and replace it using the pre-assembled orange discs and using the hex anchor tool to fasten the discs in place as shown. Disc number one can be in any of the four corners of the rectangle, but we recommend starting at the upper left-hand position of the rectangle and place the discs in sequentially numerical order, one through four as shown. An important tip. Poolfits provides chalk so that the location of the four orange discs can be marked. We mark the location of the discs in case any of the six measurements you are about to take requires verification for our CAD design team. In that case, you will be able to identify the prior location of all four orange discs as shown here and retake that measurement even after the pool fitter kit is removed from the pool. Insert the long end of the hex keys provided one each into the anchor insert of the large orange measuring disc as shown here. Repeat the process for the remaining three large orange measurement discs. We are now ready to take the six measurements for the pool fitter measurement sheet. It is important that we record these measurements accurately, which is why our measuring sheet provides a space to double check or confirm the measurements we take. Tip number one, taking measurements is a two person job one person working each end of the tape measure. Tip number two, take all of the measurements from disc number one and then go back and complete the double check and confirmation of those measurements while the tape measure is still connected to the appropriate large orange measurement disc. Starting from large orange disc number one, take the three measurements required. After attaching the tape measure to the hex key on large orange disc number one, measure to the center of orange disc number two. Here we record a measurement of 29 feet, four and a quarter inches. Please note, quarter inch increments are the smallest denomination required for the pool fitter system. With the measuring tape still attached to large orange disc number one, take the measurements to large orange discs number three and number four as shown here. We record dimensions of 34 feet, five inches and 20 foot, eight inches. Now, 
with the measuring tape still attached to large orange disc number one, double check and confirm all three measurements. This extra step takes only a few extra minutes, and as the old saying goes, better to measure twice. Moving the tape measure to large orange disc number two, take the two measurements required. Here we record 23 feet 1 and 3 quarter inches and 31 feet 10 and a half inches. With the tape measure still attached to large orange disc number two, double check and confirm both measurements. Moving the tape measure to large orange disc number three, take the one measurement required. Here we record 21 foot 3 and a quarter inches. With the tape measure still attached to large orange disc number three, double check and confirm this measurement. The final step to complete the pool fitter measurement form, and before taking the drone pictures, is to identify all of the existing safety cover anchors in the pool deck with the small red anchor markers provided in the pool fitter kit. Pool Fit supplies 50 small red anchor markers with each pool fitter kit. In the highly unlikely case that your pool has more than 50 existing anchors, please request an additional pack of red anchors to be shipped with your pool fitter measurement kit. These small red anchors are designed specifically to fit into the hex hole of the anchor inserts as shown here. While these markers can be placed in any order, Pool Fits recommends starting at the first anchor after the large orange disc number one and placing them methodically so that no anchors are missed and go unmarked. Once the small red anchor markers are placed, then it is time to record the total number of existing anchors on the pool fitter measurement sheet. Here, we record 51 existing anchors. Here's a tip. Having someone confirm the existing deck anchor count is a best practice. Here we cooperated, having Jacob, our drone operator, follow me to double check and confirm the existing anchor count at 51. Another important tip, don't forget to include in the count the four large orange discs as part of your total anchor count, as each of those are placed on an existing deck anchor to which we will want to secure the replacement cover. The first step is to set up the camera to appropriately record the photos as follows. Set the camera to normal mode. Set the picture format to raw JPEG mode. Set the gimbal angle at 90 degrees. This setting should be verified at takeoff and at the desired altitude before pictures are taken. We have another tip. Be sure to save your pictures as high resolution files. And indeed, another important tip. If there are obstructions to the field of view that cannot be avoided by repositioning the drone away from the center of the pool or increasing or decreasing altitude, then the gimbal angle can be changed to achieve an unobstructed field of view that includes the entire pool, pool deck, the four orange measurement discs, and all of the small red existing anchor markers. If the gimbal angle setting is other than 90 degrees, then the actual gimbal angle must be recorded on the pool fitter measurement sheet in the appropriate location, as shown. We are now ready to get the drone in flight and take the two to eight required pictures. As previously stated, the objective is to position the drone as close to the center of the pool as possible and with as much altitude as required, but no more, including in the field of view, the entire pool, pool deck, and all the pool fitter markers. We have another tip for you. Once the full field of view is achieved, hold the drone at this altitude. To confirm the field of view, it is recommended that the operator rotate or yaw the drone 360 degrees, confirming that the field of view is good for the full rotation. In this case, remember the tree branch we observed earlier? It is obstructing the field of view with the drone centered over the pool. As a result, the drone operator repositions the drone off-center, readjusts the altitude, and confirms that the field of view is ideal by re-rotating the drone 360 degrees. Here Jacob gives us the thumbs up that the field of view is good and he is ready to take the required pictures. With the drone in the proper position, take eight pictures. While maintaining the drone position, check the photos to verify the field of view is good for all eight pictures. Review all eight pictures to ensure they are clear and have the required field of view. 
Important tip, be sure to save your drone pictures as high resolution files. Once you have eight good pool fitter pictures, the drone flight is complete and as seen here, you can safely land the drone and store it. As we have seen in today's flight, pool fitters AI technology can account for any height above the pool, any distance off center, and even the tilt of the gimbal to any angle in rare cases when it is required. Pool fitters proprietary AI technology compensates for all the variables, so you can place your pool fitter order with confidence. By the way, we timed each step of today's process from start to finish. The entire pool fitter process took less than 25 minutes to complete. This part is easy. Take a picture of or scan your pool fitter measurement sheet. Email your pool fitter measurement sheet along with all of your pool fitter high res photos to orders at poolfits.com. Poolfits will respond to you by the next business day with a proper quotation. It's that simple and it's that fast. Using the space originally designated to organize your pool fitter measuring kit, organize all the available components in preparation for packaging and their return to pool fits. Remove all four numbered large orange discs from the four existing anchors where they were placed to form the measurement rectangle around the pool and add them to the other components. Be sure to reinsert the original brass anchor inserts so they are flush with the pool deck, as shown here. Then collect all of the little red existing anchor markers from around the pool, using one of the larger cloth pouches. With all of the pool fitter parts now organized, and using the packaging checklist provided, neatly repack the components into the appropriate cloth pouches, and then into the pre-labeled and prepaid return envelope. Be sure to include the checklist in the envelope. When the pool fitter kit is returned to pool fits, it will be inventoried and a full refund will be issued to your credit card, provided all the components are returned to pool fits in good order. Inasmuch as you are new to the pool fitter process, you may have questions such as, is pool fitter the right tool for me? Can I use the pool fitter measuring kit to measure for a new safety cover? The answer is yes, by the way. How do I order a pool fitter measuring kit? Can I get assistance during the pool fitter process? Can I get help regarding which safety cover products are right for me? How can I place an order for a new or a replacement safety cover using the pool fitter process? You can proceed with confidence knowing pool fits can help with these and any other questions by either sending an email to info at poolfits.com or calling our toll-free number 1-877-325-3487. At Poolfits, we pride ourselves on responding to your requests promptly. And that's it. With the Poolfitter proprietary AI measuring system, you're guaranteed a perfect fit every time.